Hello, welcome to Accounting Hub. I'm Professor George Scarpin, PhD in Accounting. And our topic today is business analytics again, <clears throat> forecasting techniques, moving average. For text, forecasting is very important in business for marketing, for finance, for accounting, if we are talking about budget or pricing, for instance. And moving average is one of the easiest models and very well used all over the place. So, uh, so usually when we are talking about forecasting models, we are talking about time series, a stream of historical data such as weekly sales or daily prices, where T is the number of periods. And time series generally have components such as random behavior, that is what we are talking today, trends, seasonal effect, and cyclical effect. And stationary time series, that is a moving average, have only random behavior. A trend is a gradual upward or, or downward movement of time series. So, okay, for a stationary time series, two very well-known models. Moving average model, the model that we will be talking today, and also exponential smoothing model. They, do, this, sorry, these are useful over short time period. For instance, the next period. Now, when trends, seasonal or cyclical effects are not significant. So, okay, what is the oil price tomorrow? What is the stock price tomorrow? So, very, or uh, if we are talking about monthly uh, numbers, for instance, monthly sales, what is the next month sales or next week sales. So very, very good for, for short-term periods. And then what is moving average? The simple moving average method is a smoothing method based on the idea of averaging random fluctuations in the time series to identify the underlying direction in which the time series is changing. The simple moving average forecast for the next period is computed as the average of the most recent K observation. So K is the interval where you decide what is the interval. Three, uh, series four, five, that is the most used ones. So the forecast is the average of the past K periods. And larger values of K result in smoother forecast models since extreme values have less impact. So let's go to our Excel file. And remember, all our Excel files are free and the link to download it is in our video description. So, okay, let's consider soybean prices for 250 days, actual prices, by the way. Uh, and I want to forecast the day of the, uh, the price of the day 251. So, okay, how do we do the moving average? So an interval of three, K equal to three. So I lose the first three numbers. And then the forecasting for the day four is the average of the last three. And then all I need to do is copy and paste this formula until the day 251. So actually, if I only want the forecast, I only need the uh, the formula of the day 251. That is the average of the previous three days. But we need to know which one is the best model. And then I have three intervals here, three, four, and five. Or even if I have only one, what is the error? If the error is too much, then the model is not good. So it will show an error message here. And I don't like this. And then just ignore because it omits ad adjacent cells, the first cells here that we are not using. Interval of four, I lose the four first data and then the forecast is the average of the last four days. Instead of three, we grab four days. And let's ignore this error and Let's copy and paste until the very end. Okay. See that the forecast has changed. 
from 501 to 504 for three uh, dollars here for a soybeans is huge because we are talking about huge volumes interval of five i lose the five first numbers and then my average will be of the previous five days or five periods and then here let's go on the 250 days until the 251 now 506 so 501 504 506 so which one is the best model to find it so okay best model is the lowest error so we can start on day six where we have error for all of them so we have some very different metrics for error uh, but the most used one is called may medium uh, absolute percentage error or mean a absolute percent error what is it it's the mean of the absolute percentage error so how do we find the absolute percentage error absolute the error is the forecast minus the actual number and here let's add some dollar sign then we can copy and paste divided by the actual number also with dollar sign so 134 percent 133 160 and then let's copy and paste whoops Years until the very end that is what we have and then okay what error should we get the mean so an average of this error so that is what we are going to use 120 132 143 so the interval of three lowest error so the most accurate number 501 for this forecast there is another way to do that using the moving average tool on excel so come to data data analysis but sometimes it's not there so how do you find it file options Addings, Excel adding, go, analysis tool pack. So then you have this data analysis. Data analysis, moving average is the first one. Okay. Okay, what do we have? This, so where are our numbers? So these are our numbers here from B2 to B 252. Labels in the first row yes check it what is the interval that we want so let's try with interval of three and then that is a tricky one what is the output range it doesn't matter how much is your interval your option range starts on the second day so day two and why because it will provide a list of additional 250 and i want to forecast only one day so i start one day below our actual numbers if i want to uh, go on two days but then it will be hard because our moving average will not be all of our data so that is i strongly suggest you to not do that moving average is only for one period okay and here NA because we don't have numbers see that it's missing here and then if we go to our forecast numbers 501 and 80 501 and 80 basically Excel creates the average formula without you need to do that copy and pasting and so on so let's it and then we need to delete these two what if we want four interval 
So all I need to do is change four, and then the output range, just go to the uh, L4. Okay, we have here, and again, here missing the first three, and then, let me ignore this error, 504, 504, when I go to five, Data analysis, moving average, I don't need to change anything there. Five, and then it goes to M4. So we will be losing these four data, starting with the 584. And what is not so user-friendly here, it shows that NA stuff, and if you are not Confident on what you're doing, you will believe that is an error. So it is not an error, it's only that we lose data depending on our moving average interval. What we usually do in real life problems, we test model from three to seven, especially on daily prices like this. So from three numbers to seven numbers, but the most common three, four, or five. That is, five is one business week. So that is what we have. So this is the moving average. Easy, you can do without any powerful software. We can do it using Excel, only the average formulas. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Questions or comments, leave them here or email me. Have a very nice day and God bless you.